Hello lovely people, welcome back to Parcel Creation video tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to design a wedding invitation in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so I have seen that or I have witnessed that or upon my witness project that I have seen, more of them have been invitation card and a crossover and also a 31st night flyer. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how I designed this wedding invitation in adobe photoshop so without wasting much time please like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't and also comment below and share with your friends so first of all the first thing that i do if i get any contract like this is first of all i check the colors that the person is going to use so the person said he's going to use a tequios green pink and a gold color okay so with that in mind i go to the internet okay I go to a site like png.com, okay? And I'll say something like this, okay? So, Technos Green Paint Good Wedding Invitation. Then you'll get something like this, okay? So, so this is one of the flowers that I downloaded and also I downloaded this one, okay? So, I also downloaded this and a couple more to use. But at the end of the day, I'm going to use just few. In order for me to get more options to work with, I try to download one or two couple of things that I will need more than one but in real life I'm just going to use only one or two of them okay so you can see that I downloaded this one here and a couple more of them and also I searched for the color codes okay like this one you see here is the color code for that particular color okay so there are a couple more things that you can do over here so you can search a little bit more about what you are trying to do so you get a broad idea on what you are trying to do so I didn't really did you are going to get a good result okay so with all those resources it is time to combine all of them to get something like this okay so let me show you briefly on how you can combine those resources to get something like this it's very simple so first of all i have to create the document size and i'm going to use a5 for this so Control plus n to open the new document dialog box then you can type in the size and you click on create or you can just go and select a5 and you click on create so with a new canvas like this by the way please i'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can get these resource files and follow along with me so first of all i click and drag this one into photoshop and i'll wait for it to load and then i position this one here you can either double click on it to accept changes or you click on the mark somewhere here to also accept changes okay then from here all that i need to do is to make this one a bit small because it is too big and also with the help of the lasso tool okay so you can see the lasso tool over here i will select that and with that i'm going to make a freely selection okay around the shape that i want to remove then I have to right click and convert this one to a smart object or rasterize the layer. I have to rasterize this layer. Then control plus X to cut that one out. Then I also hold control shift V to paste in place. And then with the help of my move to, I'm going to move this guy here. And I can also make it big as I want it. Then also I'll go back to my resource files and then I'll click and drag this one into Photoshop as well. Then I'll click on this mark to accept changes. And with this one also, I'm going to do the same thing. Move this guy a bit up. And also with the help of the free lasso tool, I'm going to make a selection. Make sure you right click and rasterize layer. Control X, Control Shift V to paste. And then I can also move this guy here. Okay. So you can see this is what we did earlier. And this is where we are up to now. So I can make this one big. And then show a bit less of this one. And I can do the same here. By making this one big. And show less or tiny of it. Then when you are okay, you can select everything. Control G to group. You can name this one as your background. In short, BG. You can also lock the background as well if you like to. Then I'll go to my resource files again and I have these that I downloaded for different projects. So I'll click and drag this one here. And then I'm going to make this one small. And I'll double click to accept changes. And with something like this, I'm going to make it small a bit. 
Okay, then I'll zoom in. So to zoom in, I'm holding down the Alt key and using my mouse, scroll back to zoom in and zoom out. Then from here, with the help of the ellipse or the shape tool, I'm going to use the ellipse one to draw an ellipse. That circle. Hold down the shift key so you will draw a perfect circle. Then from here, I will change the color of the fill from here to a deep green like this. Okay, so that the text that I'm going to paste on it is going to come out well. So you can select both of them like this and align to center. Control O to fit everything to screen. So from here, you see that we don't have much to do. Only the text and the information that is going to be on this. So I'll just come here, click and drag everything. So I'm making a selection of everything and I'm going to click and drag this one here. And you can also hold down the shift key. So if the size is the same, it is going to put that in the center or where exactly the first one was. And then you get something like this. Okay, so let me move this one up. And you can also put the test over here as well, okay? So you get exactly the same feel as the first one. All right, so let me show you the font that I use over here. So if you see from here that this is the same font that I use over here, and this is the name of the font, Rosalinda. You can download that and follow along. And the other font that I use is Open Sans, okay? One of my lovely font that I use on this channel. So it goes on and goes on and goes on and boom, you get everything done. So this is how simple you can design a wedding invitation flyer. So you know, in December, January, people are going to have a lot of weddings. So having a variety or knowing how to go about this project is going to help you. It is going to help you get a lot of money, okay? And if you are getting something from your designs and you would like to get these psd files as well as these ones and other couple wedding and other couple wedding designs that i have done you can check the first link in the description below to have access to all of them it is not just wedding invitations it is plus more than 150 psd files containing church flyers especially crossover 31st it's not every design that i do that i will come here to explain or i'll get the time to come and do that so you can also go there and you have access to all of them. It's a promo. It will end soon. If you join, you are going to have access to all my PSD files that I have designed so far. And you can also use that to earn more money. Okay. So it's not recommended for everyone. If you are doing this for a hobby, no need to purchase that. But if you are getting something from your designs and you also want to invest in that, then you can check the links to get access to those as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you enjoy it, please don't forget to give us. So without wasting much time, please. All right, guys. So that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate you guys. And please don't forget to like the video, comment below, and subscribe so that you'll be part of this awesome family. Thank you very much. I love you all. Until next time, stay peace and keep creating. Never give up.